We are a 501c3 nonprofit rescue. Um, we take in strays, owner surrenders. Uh, we pick up cats and dogs that have been injured or that are sick. We help assist uh, local kill shelters on um, dogs that are going to be euthanized or cats. We pull from there to, to try to give them a chance of getting home. Started at the Humane Society. I worked there four years, met a couple of ladies, and we saw how many were being euthanized, so we felt like a no-kill shelter was needed in our community, so we did it. We kind of smuggled out some dogs that were going to be euthanized, and we had met some uh, people in uh, St. Louis that was having a big adopt-a-thon, and he, he owns a rescue there. And he told us if we could get them down there, he would help us to find them a home. So. The director at the time wouldn't let us, so we kind of snuck in and took them. <laughs> and they all found homes within an hour the next morning. But when we got back to Henderson, we were fired. So it was worth every minute of it. <laughs> the three of us that were fired, we kind of was mouthing a little bit and saying, well, we'll open up our own shelter. So we, we did, we started with like $100 in our account and, and a cage, but we uh, also one of the partners was a veterinarian, Mitzi Fisher, so that made it a lot easier for us. We got started and they went on to other things and I decided to continue New Hope, so, so that's what we're doing now. <laughs> it's a lot of dedication, volunteers, uh, gotta have a lot of love for animals. Um, takes lots of money and we are a nonprofit so we don't get any funding whatsoever. We do fundraisers, adopt-a-thons and um, just try to raise money whatever way we can to continue our mission here. So, uh, Take care of the dogs and then uh, mop the floors and, and, and feed and stuff like that. Well, it keeps you younger <laughs> and uh, I enjoy the uh, uh, animals, cats and dogs, and any other kind, and uh, I think it's worth worthwhile. We have volunteers who get here early. We start clean up every single morning. It's the same thing, you know. We clean their cages. We take them out for walks, and we feed them, and you know, just the basic of taking care of, of an animal. A lot of them, like I said, are sick or injured, so we have to come through the night. Uh, some mom gets medication every four hours. We're here to do that. I live real close, real nearby, me and my sister, and she comes and helps me a whole lot. Uh, we're down here sometimes two or three in the morning. We have a lot of children and kids, young kids that come in through programs, uh, community service. They've gotten in trouble as juveniles or even adults, and uh, they have their, the courts have ordered them to do community service or, you know, just for hours they have to work, so we do let them come here, and uh, you just wouldn't believe the change it does for the children, working with the animals and interacting with them, gives them something to take care of and to love, you know, <laughs> so it really helps them. Then we have um, a lot of the, like Central School, they send students down and um, to work with the animals, so we've had, we have a lot of good programs here. Kids love it, we love the kids coming here, so the animals really love it, so getting to love on all these little babies and to know them all by name and watch them grow and especially when someone that we know will be good comes in and adopts them. That's that's my favorite, saving all these babies. Did you know you had a helper during this interview? <laughs> Hi Katie. Your helper, who's that? That's Katie. Katie. She She's older, she's a senior. And uh, oh my goodness, there's Ollie. Hi Ollie. Look at that tail. He's not beautiful. <laughs> They're all real nosy and they can't wait to see who can be petted first. Hey, Ollie. <laughs> we have a vol volunteer program here that's um, wonderful. I mean, that's what we rely on to run this place. Um, we have dedicated volunteers that are just retired that come totally on their own. Um, I have several of those that are just, they love animals, so they're they're here because their heart wants them here, you know. What does it do for you? This is like I said, it's a labor of love. It's uh, something you got to have a heart for on a personal level. What, what, is it, what does it do for you? Um, well, I don't know. They give me as much as I give them, so. 
<laughs> okay, that's okay. That's okay. You, you obviously get emotional about it. Yeah. It's more than just this is not a job, is it? Mm -hmm. 